Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about these microphones. There's many shapes and sizes and you find them in many different items today like cell phones and telephones and performing artists as well as things like guitars and drums even can contain microphones and it's very closely related to this and this is a speaker that we made last week. I'll put the link up here in the corner. Anyway, a microphone and a loudspeaker have a lot in common and it's remarkable. You can actually make a speaker into a microphone or a microphone into a speaker. It's crazy. So coming up next, the anatomy of a microphone and its mysteries. Coming up. Let's go ahead and draw a quick illustration of how this type of microphone would work. So let me draw you a quick microphone here. Isn't that beautiful? So inside this part right here is a piece of plastic or metal or mylar, and it's allowed to flex. It can move back and forth. So when you speak or play music into our microphone here, this vibrates. Now attached to this membrane is a coil of wire in a tube and the coil is made out of copper wire like this. And there goes our leads out to our amplifier. And the last component is a magnet that sits right here. So when you speak it makes this move back and forth and opposes the magnet and it allows a small signal to go out to our amplifier. Now looking at this diagram look at here it's much like our speaker it has a cone it has our copper wire and our magnet so is it possible to turn a speaker into a microphone let's go ahead and explore that possibility now so for our first experiment i took a old speaker that i had laying around and i connected it to a guitar amplifier here and i took a couple crocodile clips and I just attached it to my my two points that would normally be positive and negative. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see what it sounds like. So as you can see the speaker is now a microphone. Now it sounds a little bit tinny but that's because of course the acoustics aren't made to be a microphone but it certainly works. So there you go, works great. Let's try something else. This is getting interesting, huh? So what we've done here for a test is take our homemade speaker and I've got it plugged into my laptop here into the microphone port. And we have Audacity running here so we can see and hear it. So let's go ahead and check out this homemade speaker. You can see the sound waves coming in and we're gonna play back the actual recording for you. Don't expect much. This is a homemade speaker. I'm sure the other ones will perform better. This is a commercial speaker out of a compact computer. Look at the sound waves. Big difference. Of course this has better movement than my homemade one with just the paper. So this is probably quite adequate actually for a microphone and it's just a regular speaker. How neat's that? I should also add that swapping these around it, it didn't sound as good at first until I swapped these cables around so positive and negative do matter and you might want to if you're not getting good quality swap them around. Let's try something else. Okay so now we have a pair of earbuds and it's stereo actually Look here. Testing, testing, and we're using each channel of the earbud. Let's take one away and see. Okay, this is just one channel of the earbud. You can see the top line is a lot louder. Now let's switch. Okay, let's go with the bottom. There we go. I think that's the left channel. Now let's put them together. This is a test of the left and right earbuds together. It kind of goes against everything that you know, putting earbuds in a microphone jack, but it works. It really works. Let's try something else. Well, this is strange. Look at this. Hello. This is a test of my...
this is a test of my headset that we use for editing. Look how good that signal is. This is probably the best of all of them. Test, test, test. Look at that. I can peek that right out. Test, test, test. So how weird is that, using your headset for a microphone? I love it. Okay, so we have this cheesy card. Thank you for being and inside it is a piezo speaker. And we're going to rip this open and see if that will work like the other speakers. Let's go ahead and do that now. So there it is. There's our piezo. I think it's piezo. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry, but it uh, doesn't really matter. We're going to clip it off. And this works a little bit differently than a regular audio speaker. This actually has a crystal in it, a piezo crystal. And when pressure is applied, like sound pressure, it uh, changes the electrical characteristics. Let's go ahead and bear these wires and uh, hook it up and see if it uh, reacts the same. I've got my little card piezo speaker hooked up to the uh, Audacity again. Let's go ahead and get a listen. I don't expect it to be as good as the speaker because it is a different type, but I've got an idea for this. But uh, let's go ahead and see what this sounds like real quick. That's all coming from this greeting card piezo speaker and it's amplifying this acoustic guitar and as I said earlier you could even put it in a drum set and to be honest with you I think it sounds really good I've just got it taped here with masking tape for now but it's picking up just fine and I'm running it through my amplifier. Little free bird. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you think this is a practical application. I think it is. The card was $2.50. Come on. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.